right, now I've got uh, Gary Sunderland. Gary, welcome to The Flying Show, mate. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Um, That's good. Yeah, gorgeous little albatross you got here, mate. How long have you had it for? Oh, it's a few years old now. I've uh, yeah. uh, flown it mainly at uh, fly-ins rather than competitions, oh, and yeah. uh, I've had a bit of a go this morning and decided that perhaps it's wiser to fly it at fly-ins <laughs> and not at competitions. It looked like you had a bit of a rudder issue there, did you? Or? No, well, it wasn't the model's fault. It was just me. As, <laughs> no. as a, the thing about this, it's a World War I aeroplane, yeah. uh, 1915 two-seater yeah. albatross, and... Uh, and as you can see, it's got a hell of a big wing and a small yeah. tail. And the deal is that you, if you go into a turn, you need to start putting on rudder before you start putting aileron on, right. and uh, get it get it going that way, and then put on, you know, a very gentle amount of of uh, yeah. aileron. And uh, I was doing it all around the wrong way because I haven't flown it for a while. And I was putting on lots of aileron, and, uh, yeah. and as you say, the aileron drag skids you all around the yeah. sky, yeah. and uh, it wasn't very pretty to watch. Yeah. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it did look fantastic, and it sounds very nice up there. Yeah, yeah I've flown at, uh, at the, the, sh the fly in here a few years, for a few years now. Oh, I think right, it's yeah. about uh, three or four years ago yeah. uh, yeah. I was flying it, and uh, it, it flew reasonably well then. And yeah. uh, So did you build this one yourself? Oh yeah, it uh, wow. took about twelve months to build. Wow! I like job. I like building airplanes. So. Yeah. Well, you've done a fantastic job. It looks gorgeous. It, uh, it looks better than it is actually. The, uh, yes. I, b before this one was built, I had a build a, uh, uh, a Bristol Fighter, oh. British airplane, an FTB, uh, FTB, and uh, yeah. and it it had the same engine in it actually. And the Bristol was good because it did things like dropping bombs and all that sort of stuff. Oh, how beautiful. And uh, oh. unfortunately, it, uh, <coughs> due to it, when I was flying it in a competition once, I sort of went to sleep a bit and <laughs> managed to hit the ground, which oh. wasn't very good to, that uh, the model came down at the same speed as the b bomb. <laughs> oh, wow. So that yeah, wasn't very clever. Now, what's with the, the story with the markings? That's an interesting looking uh, dragon. Story. Yeah, it is actually because uh, this aircraft was in the Eastern Front. Oh, right. And uh, in the early days on the Eastern Front, the, uh, they were flying against Russians who were flying Farman aeroplanes. Oh, yeah. And of course the Farmans, way back in 1415, uh, had a machine gun in the front and they, the Germans said every time they got one of those Farmans around, they went home. Yeah. So, uh, uh, and this model, uh, so the C3, came out and they had machine guns front and back. Oh, so beautiful. It, so it... Uh, it was able to chase, and as you can see, that there were dragons chasing yeah. this farm and out of the air. Yeah, yeah. So that was a, that was the reason for the dragons on the either side. Well, that is fantastic, mate. Well, that's uh, an absolutely stunning-looking aircraft, and um, enjoy many, many hours of flying, mate. And thanks very much for today. Oh, great! Hmm. Thanks, Gary. <laughs>